Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming at you with my dingly danglies with my shirt which I just found in the back of my cupboard which I've always really really liked this shirt but I've never really worn it because it just never quite looked right on me for some reason but anyway I dug her out I dug the dingly danglies and I, I'm not really matching like nothing's matching today but I don't really care because I feel good and that's all that matters so as you may have seen from the title of this video today I'm going to be telling you about some eyeshadow palettes why is my light blinking like why oh there we go oh my gosh all of a sudden you can see me I mean really but yes so today I'm going to be telling you about some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from AliExpress I just thought that this may give you a little bit of inspiration it, or if you're new to AliExpress and maybe you're you're just kind of you know feeling your way around but you don't really know like what's good like what is good up in here then I hope that this video will help you out a little bit when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and believe me there are many extraordinarily fantastic eyeshadow palettes on AliExpress uh, these are just a bunch of some of my favorites so with all of that being said I'm going to just jump right in because I have the palettes all organized and ready they're queued up they're excited for their moment in the spotlight they said okay so the my favorite palette of course and I, there's no way that I feel like I could have filmed this video without mentioning her so my favorite of all of the palettes is is definitely my palette of course but this is the eyeshadow palette that i collaborated on with you can be and um, i firstly i just i'm all do you know what i feel like i feel like any compliments i give th this palette basically i'm complimenting myself like is this not the height of narcissism and i know we've discussed this before when i said oh my gosh am i a narcissist and so many of you guys in the comments were saying no of course you're not a narcissist but honestly like i feel like if you have to ask yourself if you're a narcissist maybe you are and i know that somebody said no if you have to ask yourself then you're definitely not but how do we know i just don't know anyway so 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 this is the cellophane palette no i did not name her if i did she would have been called vaginas on fire or sorry that just brought back memories of when i had cystitis really bad at university so that would not have been the name if i named her, her she would have been called the i mean really palette of course she definitely would oh I was just about to tell you how much I love the aesthetics of the packaging before I got carried away thinking, is this narcissistic? Narcissistic. Do you know what? This is like... No, it's nothing at all like it. Ah, oh, forget what I was just about to say. It had nothing at all to do with the video and it actually was not... It wasn't very interesting and it definitely wasn't funny. So, uh, yes, yeah, so this is the outside of the palette. We have this beautiful kind of um, holographic rainbow snake skin kind of moment going on and then on the inside this is what she looks like uh, the reason why i love this palette is just because you've got so many different options i find that every time i come to use this palette which is often i'm never lost for inspiration so i'm actually wearing the palette today i have a uh, clueless which is beautiful peach i have that as my initial transition shade i have fanny pack and i've just got that buffed out in the outer v and then on the lid i have a yes be yes which i know that in a lot of people's palettes this one did arrive uh, crushed or crumbled or broken up uh, just to let you know because uh, it probably is appropriate for me to let you know in this video you can be definitely received the feedback they're aware of the problem and they are now working to reformulate the this shade yes but yes just to try and ensure that we don't have any of that crumbling nonsense again because it's just not acceptable also in this palette we do have a wide variety of formulas we have mattes we have melted shimmers we have duo chromes we have chunkier shimmers i.e yes but yes which loves to crumble we have a whole mix of different formulas different textures uh, just different styles you know i would definitely say that this palette is definitely colorful i call it the festival palette because actually I don't I've never called it the festival palette ever before I just kind of made that up on the spot 
But I think Festival Palette is very appropriate for this because she's so colourful and fun. As I said earlier, it's a very inspirational palette. You open her up, you never quite know what kind of look you're going to get. Because if you're like me, or if I'm like you, I don't know who's like who, but whenever I, whenever I, like, I might have, like, an idea of what I want to do, but then once I get blending, I get distracted by another beautiful shade, I'm like, oh my gosh, no, I'm going in with Redondo, and then the look ends up totally different to what I had even envisaged. I'd say this palette's, like, the freshest week of eyeshadow palettes in that, you know, you start off with a plan, an itinerary, but then you know, you just end up going to an all-night rave and just having the best time of your life. So this is uh, perfection. Oh my gosh, I've talked about her for way too long. Um, I would definitely recommend my palette. You can buy it from Amazon UK, Amazon USA, and also the You Can Be website. Uh, I will try and include all the links down below. So I'm not a very good salesperson, so I probably will forget. But um, yeah, if you check on Amazon, chances are you should be able to get her, I would say. I hope. I hope some people couldn't find her. And I was just like, what the fuck? Okay, so my next favourite is by Beauty Glazed, and this is the Reversal palette. So this is definitely a much larger palette, but I can appreciate each and every single shade within this palette. I don't think that there's been any duplicates. I think that every single shade just has a place. I absolutely love the cool toned, slightly subdued kind of colour story of this palette. I think it's rather unique, although she does look very similar to a Colourpop palette which I cannot remember the name of but if I, I'll find a picture and I'll throw it up on screen she looks to be like a really really good dupe for that palette I tend to use this palette quite a lot I think the quality of the eyeshadows is absolutely beautiful I find the shadows just really really easy to blend and to work with I always find that whenever I use this palette I end up with a look that I just really really love so yeah this is absolutely gorgeous it costs about seven pounds which I kind of feel like I'm robbing beauty glaze like just paying that little for such a beautiful palette. I mean, she really is gorgeous and I would definitely recommend to all makeup lovers, uh, but particularly if you love cooler toned eyeshadows and also there's a couple of uh, pressed glitters in here that are kind of duochrome -y. They're like multicolored, this one and this one. I'd say that these are my standout uh, kind of shades in the whole palette. They're just extremely special, unique. They always turn your eye look into a party. And for that, I just, I, I'm so appreciative of them. So this palette is gorgeous. It's the Reversal Palette by Beauty Glaze. And I also love the um, planetary moment we've got going on on the front. I am a huge fan of space, the universe, the planets, aliens, just everything. Everything about space. Do you know what? I heard a really interesting thing the other day. I think it was on TikTok. And this guy said, it was like a conspiracy theory. And he said that imagine if we could breathe in space, but the government didn't want us to know we could breathe in space so that we couldn't escape. And I just thought that was just so thought provoking and so interesting. Like, oh my gosh, yes. I just really liked it. I love stuff like that. Anyway, okay, so my second, oh no, it's not second, it's third. Oh, you'd think I'd be able to count by now, wouldn't you? But mm, apparently not. So, oh, I would, oh, do you know what? I just had a thought then. Like, did I did I tell everyone that the look I've done today was using my palette? And I, and I did. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. So the next palette is by You Can Be. Again, this is the Pretty All Set palette. The reason why I'm mentioning this particular palette today is just because it's kind of like a one-stop shop palette and I think that this palette would be perfect for say any beginners kind of entering into the world of makeup who maybe don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and they just want to have like a massive feck off palette with loads of options that doesn't just cover eyeshadows but it covers bronzing, blush and highlighting. Uh, this it, I think would be like the perfect palette to gift 
to your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your son, just your neighbour, just anyone who is interested in makeup but maybe doesn't have the most amount of palettes or it's actually great to give to the biggest makeup addict in the world who has every palette because it's just great you know what I mean or this would be like the perfect like holiday palette so just you know when you go on holiday you don't want to be taking like every single eyeshadow palette with you this would be like a really good one to take because it covers most most things I feel this palette opens up like a book which is so cute uh, so we've got this side which is uh, kind of more kind of deep um, everyday shades I would say very warm toned then we've got the middle bit which is your kind of party zone I'd say you've got the glitters you've got the bronzer you've got blush you've got highlight um, and as you can see like along the top here these are for I'd say like medium to darker skin types and then down at the bottom maybe for lighter skin types so Again, it's kind of you know something for all so if you go on holiday with your girlfriends or your boyfriends you know if they wanted to jump in and use this palette then maybe something for them too um, and at the end here you've got the carnival ready I'm going to an all-night rave area of the palette and do you know what I just thought why do I keep mentioning raves or parties because I am not a partier I definitely was when I was at uni but I'm not anymore um but yeah I can still tap into that old raver raver part of me you know um anyway sorry I was just reminiscing for a second there about how crazy nights out but um yeah so this palette has absolutely everything it's just beautiful so that is the pretty all set palette and i really really love her oh my gosh so guys uh let me tell you about this little baby honestly she is just ah uh, she's so good so this is the beauty oh no it's not <laughs> oh my gosh she doesn't even know their names i'm not detail oriented orientated yeah, I'm not a detail, a detail person. Um, but this is the Eternal Charm palette by Febble. So this, oh, she's so gorgeous. This features, in my opinion, some of the best shimmers, like, and metallics that I've ever got from AliExpress. I have tried uh, two Febble palettes um, in my lifestyle. In my lifestyle, what? I've tried two Febble palettes and both of them have been absolutely outstanding eyeshadow palettes so this is the second one that i got it's quite i'd say everyday wearable quite nude natural but um the uh, the metallics and the kind of crushed pigments they really take this palette to the next level and oh it's just so good it's just so good so the mattes aren't mattes in the traditional sense of the word they are kind of the matte but they're not a powder product, they're very, they're creamy, which in my opinion makes them super easy to use. You can use them with, with just your finger, you can kind of blend them out, I'll show you. If I kind of dig into this uh, beautiful shade, so it's on my finger, if I just kind of use my finger to kind of blend this out, can you see how beautifully that, that blends? So you don't even need to own brushes to use this palette. Again, it would be another perfect kind of going on holiday palette or going away for the night kind of palette because you don't need to bring like all of your brushes with you. It's just so easy to use but produces the most extravagantly ravishing looks. I mean, let me just swatch. I've just got to swatch. So if I'm, I'm going to swatch this shade for you, which is called Glitz. As you put your finger in there, it just, ah, melts it melts so this is a crushed pigment okay so are you ready for this just watch this so you do have to like put a little bit of force to kind of push her into your skin because she is a crushed pigment but she just melts onto your skin just look at that <sighs> oh guys honestly it's so gorgeous so gorgeous i can't recommend her highly enough the, if you're a makeup lover get her she's so beautiful and the best thing is i can't remember how much she costs but i know she's under 10 pounds and she's worth every single penny okay so the next palette is by novo who 
create some of the highest quality kind of high-end appearing makeup on all of AliExpress in my opinion. So this is a long thin palette. I call it the pencil case palette. Actually I don't. Oh my gosh I just don't. I thought of that on the spot but I am calling it. That's what I should say. I am calling it the pencil case palette because it just reminds me of like a pencil case. So you pop her open and this is what she looks like. She is a cream eyeshadow palette again it makes it really really easy um to apply even someone that has never ever dibble dabbled in makeup before could just tap, tap their finger in there and i think create a really beautiful look so this is a beautiful um oh do you know what i cannot think of the the color i was i was kind of sat here like staring at this palette just hoping that the colour would come back to me but and I still I can't think of the colour and I was hoping that maybe if I'm under pressure and I'm kind of holding her up my brain will work and the colour will come in and I cannot think of the colour but I'm going to just show you and hopefully you can think of the colour so she's like a pinky oh the, the colour I can't think of then I can't think of it but she has a kind of shimmery shades she has a glitter and then she has these mattes again they're cream but they're still mattes if that makes sense and um, this palette is just great to use if you're kind of in a rush you don't really have a lot of time to invest in your makeup look pick her up put her on and you have a really beautiful uh, kind of look uh, they do sell this palette in a couple of of different colour stories. I know there's definitely one which is more of like an orangey, browny kind of warm tone palette. And then they've got another one and I have no idea, like I cannot remember what that one is like. Um, but this is brilliant. It, this costs under five pounds. So <laughs> again, I feel like sometimes I'm a thief because I'm just buying these palettes and I just don't feel like I'm paying enough and I don't generally feel like that about anything because whenever I go into like, you know, a makeup shop like Boots or Superdrug, I always have a heart attack when it comes to that point where they tell you how much it's going to cost. I'm like, oh, what? Oh my gosh, how is it that much? But with AliExpress, I'm always just like left feeling like, oh my gosh, how is it that little? Do you know what I mean? Just one of the many charms of AliExpress. Did I even tell you the name of this palette? I don't think I did. So this is the Soft Eyeshadow um, palette. It's, it's a smooth texture on it, which ain't no lie. I mean, yes. Okay, so next we have yet another palette by You Can Be. This is for all of you guys who are very explorative. I cannot say explorative. Explorative. I still don't think that I pronounced that correctly, but yeah, this is for people that like to do a little bit of like face painting or like to go a little bit outside of the box with their makeup. Even if you don't like to do that, I just think that this this palette will make you want to do it, you know? This is the Cruise palette. Uh, they have just released a, a cream kind of face painting palette. This isn't that one. This is like the older one. So I'm hoping to have the newer one soon, but this is the older one, which I've only just got into recently after being massively inspired by uh, the TV series Glow, which I'm not going to go into again because I'm sure that you all know by this video of how inspired that that TV series has, has made me because I've mentioned it in about five different videos recently and I'm boring myself saying it. So I'm sure you're bored if I'm bored. I can't say that I have a huge amount of experience in cream kind of face paints because this is the first palette that I've ever had. And it's the first, first time in my life I've ever really tried um, face painting. So I can't really say if I think it's great in comparison to others because I've not tried any others but it's a real pleasure to work with um the, the, everything goes on nicely and it comes off nicely you're not left with like stains on your face which I think is you know a, it's important you know what I mean it's important when you have to go out and do like professional things or just like you just don't want to look like you're insane which I don't know, I bleached my eyebrows the other day and as I was doing it I was thinking this is quite the commitment because I am going to have to do my eyebrows every day otherwise it looks like I have literally no eyebrows 
But then after I thought about it, I thought, no, I don't care. I'll just look like I don't have any eyebrows, that's fine. You know, I've I've looked worse in my time. Okay, so the final palette I have to show you today is by Poudoir, Poudoir, Poudoir. This, in all honesty, is not one of my like, most favourite palettes from AliExpress, but it's a recent one that I have enjoyed. So I thought that I would mention it today. So this is called the Feather Kingdom uh, eyeshadow palette. This is a beautiful looking palette. She's very kind of colourful but also quite pastel and oh do you know what? I've actually forgotten to include my favourite pastel palette. So I'm going to mention that in a minute. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so this uh, is really, really affordable, um, but it's a beautiful palette. My favourite shade in the whole palette, and actually, I think my favourite coral shade ever is um, this one here. It's called Peach Me. Peach Me. And that's a very appropriate name. It's a beautiful, beautiful peach shade. Um, there's also a beautiful lavender shade. Both of them shouldn't really work I don't think they shouldn't really show up on the lid but they do they bring it um I think the shimmers are good it's not the best quality ever but for the price that you're paying I think it's exceptional which is the reason why I'm mentioning her today so that's her and I'm going to finish off the video today with telling you about my all-time favorite pastel eyeshadow palette but I don't know where she is I thought she was up there but she's not is she down here? No? Where is she? Oh, is this her? No! Where the feck is she? I had her the other day and I can't believe she's not here. She could only be in like one of three places, so I don't know why am I not finding her. Like, why can I not see her? Oh, she's there. Oh my gosh, like the whole time she was just up on my shelf, like right where I could see her. And I don't know why I couldn't, but anyway, so this is the beautiful, beautiful Blooming Up palette by Beauty Glazed. Oh my gosh, if you're a fan of pastel, pastel shades, she is exceptional. Do you know I said that the coral in the uh, Feather Kingdom palette was my favourite? I I'd lied, but I didn't mean to lie. I just forgot. My favourite one is actually this one from this palette. Um, I think when you kind of look at this palette, your pants probably won't pop off. But when you're actually using the palette, your pants definitely, they, they fly right off to space. Um, because not only is the quality really good, the pigmentation is surprising, but in a really good way. For, because a lot of these shades here, you kind of think to yourself, oh my gosh, are they actually going to show up on my lid? Yes, they do. And they show up very well. Like, just so agreeably. They just, they do everything that you want them to do and more. I also thought, like, you know, pre-actually trying out this palette on my eyes, I thought that... A lot of the shades were like duplicates and they were just popped in there for the sake of it. And I was wondering, like, is there going to be any distinction between the shades? But there is. Like, each shade within this palette brings its own personal joy. And you get different formulas in the palette. Oh, I just love it. Oh, I just love this palette. I've created some of my most favourite eyeshadow looks recently with this palette. So I would definitely recommend this if you're a pastel princess or a pastel prince. If, yeah, just like, I think if you're into pastels, you would love this palette. I could totally see how this palette maybe isn't the most exciting for those who don't really love pastel shades. So I get that. But definitely for all of you pastel lovers out there, yeah, this palette, she's great. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was useful to you if you love AliExpress, but you just wanted a little bit of like, a little bit of info about like, ooh, which, which eyeshadow palettes are good? Ooh, what should I go for? Because there's so many and it can be a bit overwhelming sometimes so I really really hope that you, you've enjoyed the video I just said that why am I saying it again because I get really like awkward you know when it comes to like ending a video so then I just end up repeating myself so I'm not going to do that but anyway I hope that you are safe I hope you're strong I hope you're positive I hope you're happy and just feeling wonderful today and i'm gonna go and uh, leave you to it so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye